not seem to enjoy the ghost video that I posted a couple days ago about my review and thoughts of Ghost Series 5. So I thought we'll keep going with ghost videos. Don't worry, we will get back to horror history stuff. But for now, we're going to stick with ghosts. And I thought at some point we will do a sort of fan reaction to Ghost Series 5. And what I mean by that is I'm collecting all of your guys' responses to Series 5, what you liked, what you didn't like. And we're going to go through some of them in a later video. So I did put a post out on my community posts asking for your responses. I've already got a couple on there. Comment on this video. Comment on any of my ghost videos. Just make sure it's a ghost video. And I will go through and I'll put them all on a list and we'll have a chat about them. But today we are answering the question of who is the best ghost. Now we have nine ghosts in total to rank. And I feel like we need to go through some of the criteria before we really get going. So... Me and Parker were talking before this, and I was I, I was trying to work out how we're judging them, and I think we need to judge them as overall ghosts, because some of the ghosts more than others are massively different at the start than they are in Series 5. I think we need to judge them as, like, how have they come along, how has their character, like, developed, but also their backstories, how are their backstories, how does that relate to the character, general feeling overall impression of each ghost. Now, obviously, the nine ghosts we will be ranking today are, in no particular order, Thomas, Pat, Julian, Robin, Humphrey, Fanny, Kitty, and Mary. Um, Honourable mention, though, before we go on, the two uh, German ghosts who are in the trees who go, Hello! When Alison's going to look at other houses, them. They get an honourable mention because I really enjoyed them. And also the little farmer guy who's, like, on the other side of the fence. He was also quite lovely. Oh, my God! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Niche reference. Uh, yeah, no, the play pit. I do like the play pit ghosts. They can have a little. Um, although I don't know how I feel about Julian trying to shag one of the play pit <laughs> ghosts in the latest series. That happened. Anyway, sit, ranking all the ghosts. Let's go. In at the bottom of the list, number nine is Julian. I feel like I should really preface this list by saying I love all of the ghosts. I think they're all really good characters. I think they're perfectly portrayed. Go, uh, Julian just comes at the bottom, just just because he's he's fine. Like he has some funny moments, obviously, but he, he it's hard to see past the Tory MP. Uh, and I get that's his character. He's just sort of he's there. Julian is there. He has some funny moments. He has some funny pairings with Robin. But it's 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 the ghost on the list that I feel most meh about. Number eight is Stephanie Button, aka Fanny. Now. Fanny, I think, in the early seasons, honestly, would be bottom. But in from halfway through Series 3 onwards, I think Fanny was a, turned into a very funny, very likeable character. Like, I know part of the point of her character in the first series was that she was not likeable and she was a bit horrible to Alison. But it just came off in the wrong way to me. Um, but then in Series 5, obviously, when she let her hair down, <laughs> literally, it just added so many new layers to the character of Fanny. I also really like the idea of her being able to be seen on camera. Obviously, most of the ghosts have special powers they can use. And I think Fanny, her being seen on camera is a really cool, like, cliche ghost thing. But I think it was really cool. The whole episode where they were trying not to catch Fanny on camera worked really well. Not to mention the uh, whole, hello, I'm making quesadillas. <laughs> I'm making oh, quesadillas. <laughs> making... <laughs> Uh, what was Get I saying? I'm sorry. Um, her, the entire Christmas episode being dedicated to her backstory was really cool. <gasps> My spleen. Oh, so obviously, like the um, the, the sort of um, parallel between um, uh, obviously Lady Button being pushed out the window as her cause of death, and then Alison being pushed out the window by, and they said Simon then by Julian, and that making her be able to see ghosts. Nice little parallel. Obviously, they're related. Isn't, isn't that a lovely little parallel? I love a parallel. Number seven is somewhat of a controversial pick, I feel like. Number seven is Humphrey. Now, I know of all the ghosts, Humphrey gets the least to do, and that's probably got something to do with the fact that his actor, obviously, is Lawrence Rickard, who obviously plays Robin more frequently than Humphrey. But I still love Humphrey as a character. I love the concept of the head coming off and that being carried around and then the bodies walking around. The way they do it is so clever. I just, 
And I, I love the sarcastic remarks of Humphrey getting lost on the roof or in the gardens or on the ground somewhere. I think that is a very, very cool concept. And something that's really brought Humphrey up to higher up the list is his backstory. And I, I, I did mention at the start, we're going to be mentioning their backstories as why they're on the list where they are. Humphrey's backstory might be my favourite backstory. I just think the way it all happened, the way it came together, the drama of Humphrey's backstory is just so deep. And I, I love that that's a, there's a constant reminder of his backstory in his dead form. Obviously, he's, he's headless, which it, it's very clever. I, I do wish we'd seen more of Humphrey at points, but I get why we couldn't. You know, he played Robin as a more prominent role. Humphrey was sort of there. But it was really nice in Series 5 to see the head back on Humphrey a bit more. He's doing a bit more. He helped plot with Alison. I really like Humphrey. At number six is Kitty. Uh, oh, the first non-six idiot on the list. Wow. <sighs> Kitty, 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 Kitty. Kitty has the opposite problem to Fanny, where early series Kitty, I think, has a contention for one of the funniest of the ghosts. And then I think they started to try too hard. I think the glory of Kitty was she didn't have to try and be funny. Kitty was just funny. Kitty as Kitty was funny. And then I think as she got more character to her, I think obviously the whole stuff originally in life, she was seen as her sister's best friend. That was all. That was the whole thing. And then when we found out all about Kitty, I feel like they tried to make her too complicated. And it was like... Kitty is a good character. Kitty is funny because she's so... She has that, like, innocence to her, which makes her come across in this sweet way. You just want to... It's the way, like, they all treat Kitty like they're their daughter. And it, that's such a nice thing. And then later series, especially series five, it kind of got a bit like, all right, Kitty, we get it. Calm down. Number five is actually Thomas. Now, I know Thomas is maybe one of the most popular ghosts in Ghosts. I know everyone loves Matthew Baton. Oh, it's Matthew Baton. I've said plenty of time in my Horrible Histories videos. I think we need to take a bit of a Matthew Baton break. Um, but Thomas Thomas is the probably the most consistent character in Ghosts. And what I mean by that is the most consistent personality, the most consistently funny, the most consistent ghost is Thomas. And that's why he's sort of right in the middle is because... He's there. He's consistent. He's he's a reliable ghost, is Thomas. But there's nothing. I'm not like, oh my god, I love Thomas. What a legend. He's fine. Number four is Captain. The top five of this list is honestly near damn impossible to try and figure out. This is where we're getting to the creme de la creme of the ghosts. But Captain, you're just missing out on the top three there, I'm afraid. I'm going to say, similar to what I said about Thomas... But slightly better. Captain is obviously one of the more loved ghosts. I mean, his backstory is one of the most tragic. I think he, he's one of the more complex ghosts. I mean, the inner conflict he's fighting with and what he's trying to put out to the other ghosts of how he is. I think there's a lot of conflicts going on with Captain. And I think that was only helped by what we found out in Series 5. Captain is maybe the most well-rounded ghost, maybe the most complex ghost. But that doesn't mean he's the best ghost. Also just missing out on the top two is Mary. Now, honestly, I think Mary is so funny and just the consistency. We talked about Thomas being consistent, but I'm now talking about the performance of, Kit of Mary and how consistent the performance is. The actress is phenomenal. I mean, the voice is just... The voice adds so much to that role. And then the way they act... And obviously, Mary left last, in the fourth series. Um, but we've seen so much development in Mary. Obviously, that's why she eventually moved on. But I think just what we did see, she kept her Mary charm. Everything she learned about herself, everything she gave away about herself to the other ghosts... She never lost that sense of Mary, which I feel Kitty kind of did. But Mary kept the Maryness right till the end, which was just lovely. I just love Mary. Number two, just missing out on top spot, is Robin. Now, the you know who number one is now. We'll get to them. The top two, honestly, was so difficult. I was contemplating putting Robin top. Robin has quickly become 
as you can tell by the list, one of my favourite ghosts. I think the way the like intellect of Robin is so interesting. One of the things I love about Robin is the concept that he has been there from the start. He was the first ghost to be there. He has seen hundreds of people come and go from the house, whether they're living or they're ghosts. He has seen so many people come and go. And so when all the other ghosts are feeling quite sad about the possibility of each other moving on, Robin is the one who's going, I've seen this so many times now. You can't do this every time someone moves on because if I'd done that, I'd be so depressed. And seeing that is just... And the way Lawrence plays that is genius. Like, he'll say something stupid, then he'll say something so, like, profound. And it's it's such a deep character. I just love the idea of him being there forever. And it's like... It, it's Robin's house at this point. It's Robin's world. We're all just living in it. If you've watched anything on this channel, you will have known as soon as you clicked on this video who number one was going to be. It's Pat, isn't it? For several reasons... I am in love with Jim Horwick. I think he is one of the funniest actors I have come across. He is just genius. The comedic timing is there. The physicality is there. He can sing. Everything about Jim, I think, is perfect. But let's talk about him as Pat. His line deliveries are out of this world. I mean, they are phenomenal. Like, the way he dead deadpan delivers lines is ingenious we talked about mary's accent pat's accent when i found out that jim wasn't northern i almost lost my shit i mean and then in the later series where he does his um american voice he's like oh, no sirree not over here and it's like oh i do that is just absolute the way he manipulates his voice his face his body like it's I have said this before, and I will say it again. I think Jim is the most well-rounded of the six idiots in terms of having every aspect down to a T. The singing, the acting, the faces, the voices. Everything about Jim, I think, is perfect. And I love him as Pat. Pat is one of the greatest characters of all time. And you can't change my mind. So that is all nine ghosts ranked. Remember, it's my opinion. But I would like to know what you guys think in the comments, so please do let me know your full ranking of the ghosts, or have I just done the definitive ranking? I think I've just done the definitive ranking. I don't think there's anything wrong with my ranking at all. Also, like I said at the start of the video, please do on this video, or on the other ghosts video, or on the post, let me know your thoughts of Series 5. It can be as long and in-depth, or as short and concise as you like. Let me know your thoughts. And then in a couple of days, we'll be doing a fan's reactions to Ghost Series 5. I've already got four or five responses, so do keep them coming, and we'll get on to that. You can click here and watch my entire Horrible Histories playlist. Parker, what video is going to be here? Um, Any video I've done. X to vlog. The X to vlog again. <laughs> Subscribe up here. Mab down here. Thank you very much. Anything to say? I love Mary. I don't want him to. <laughs> I'll make love to you if you want me to. I don't want him to. But it is strictly. You have any advice for someone who wants to be famous? <laughs> no, sorry, none of the. Oh my god, I do. <laughs> do you like me? And you? You're there, mate. <laughs>